All right, this gadget here is used to test these little low-pressure blowers, uh, which in reality are produced uh, for uh, industrial use. Uh, the specific application is those little blood pressure cuffs on those little units you can buy and use at home. Uh, six volt uh, uh, motor and a very simple one direction double diaphragm pump. Uh, we use them in the model submarines. The application is to use them as a low pressure blower which uh, gathers air and discharges into a ballast tank. Trouble is, these things bought in mass, there's been a quality control problem from the uh, uh, point of uh, manufacture. Some of the armatures have a bald spot, so I've been compelled to devise a testing machine, a uh, test unit, which uh, intermittently operates the motor because we found that uh, the, in some units, so far at a rate of maybe 5%, we're finding that uh, some motors have bald spots on their commutators uh, and that when the uh, brushes roll over by chance or uh, other circumstance, when the brush rolls over that portion of a bad unit's um, armature, uh, it's an open circuit and the motor will not start again until you physically move the motor and get off that bald spot. Well, I devised this little unit here, which employs a motor and big gear train here to turn a cam which operates a mechanical switch. The switch in turn sends a pulsating DC at a very, very low frequency to the motor. So what I have is a start and stop situation. You can see inside uh, the motor uh, flash plate. It's a jerky operation. In other words, we're starting and stopping the motor and over time we're going to cover every point uh, that the brushes would fall on the commutator. If it's a bad unit, after 30 seconds, this motor will stop of its own accord. If it doesn't stop of its own accord, then I'm reasonably assured that the uh, armature is good and this unit uh, uh, can be employed in uh, one of our sub-drivers used in model submarines. So that's what this device is. It's a testing unit. And uh, it, it gives me the, the ability to quickly put in the motor and conduct a test. Simple as that. So while this is running for about 30 seconds, I could be uh, doing another operation in the shop. So after 30 seconds, and if it's still running, or rather I still have this idiot light flashing, then I know we have a good unit. This is one of the unfortunate things you have to do when you buy from China because quality control is not very good over there. Uh, the prices are very good on the products, but quality is not uh, United States standard. But that's the name of the game. And if you want to play it cheap, sometimes you're compelled to come up with a fix like this. Sorry, China.